opponents built like tanks size up for a dirty fight. This is on-the-job training during attacks. When hunting, they're the ones that scrubland in the Makololo Depression supports especially large herds of buffalo. Come to battle equipped with some of the heaviest and deadliest horns in the animal kingdom. When the largest buffalo close ranks, the herd is almost invincible. But how will the rookies react to the buffalo front line? The two boys approach from the flank and sneaks in for another go. But the herd now has the upper hand. Strength in numbers and team play won the day. She had a narrow escape, but at least she inherited excellent defensive skills. But the pride's movements after this might reveal what's behind their unusual behavior. Pamwi's pride has woken up and is on the hunt again. It's not unusual for adult females to do most of the work during hunting. Small and vulnerable, are kept at the center of the herd, out of the firing line. The ball of living flesh is formidable, and they lose their nerve. The buffalo look rattled. It's time for all the brothers to get involved. This time, it's their aunt, Marden, who backs up the boys, takes this opportunity to teach her sons another crucial lesson. It's like watching a domestic cat playing with its food. The calf suddenly struggles a little, and a primal instinct kicks in. A little sustained pressure, and the calf will suffocate. Once you slip in, the mud draws you down further. For two days, this helpless cow bakes under the glaring sun, makes lions nervous so she cautiously edges over the sun-baked crust. Laduma seems to want to show the cubs a textbook kill, that they need to take every situation on its merits and think on their feet. This bull has attitude, grown in maturity and in patience. Working together, they slip into the spearing range of one of those deadly horns. There's a last-minute hitch, which the buffalo seizes as a chance to escape. But even seasoned hunters regularly miss their target. But the experience undoubtedly sharpened their wits. A reminder to Kimba and Marlu not to rise above themselves. Laduma does what comes naturally to her and spearheads the attack. Cats usually work alone, but there are exceptions. Flankers get into position. Others go behind to drive the herd. Frightened zebras run from their attacker, but straight into the flankers. For the biggest, virtually anything can be on the menu. For a 200 kilo Bengal tiger, a 300 kilo sambar, but some species specialize in more challenging prey. The mother puma has spotted a baby guanaco, an easy target. There is a lot to master in the art of a cruel death, but vital to the young cub's training. For young cats around the world, a coalition of cheetah litter mates look for an easy first target. hosting a rich diversity of wildlife, which rivals any in East Africa. And the sisterhood is the bond which keeps the pride strong, as they share the task of looking after each other's young. These young princes are not expert buffalo hunters like the lionesses. Right inside the heart of Jambok's territory, these young bloods have thrown down a sec. A lioness never usually leaves her pride. She's got eight inexperienced youngsters relying totally on her, maybe because the younger ones don't see the need for urgency. 
Jambok has lost his best hunter and eight cubs. Jambok has no choice. He has to assert his authority. It's time to make a last stand and save the rest of his pride. The veterans stood little chance against two young bloods spoiling for a fight. These cubs haven't yet learned to hunt. They're all relying on her to provide food. Gone are the days when she could snooze through the sunlit hours. With the cubs more a hindrance than a help, she sneaks off without them. Small wildebeest herds are resident all year round. She's vulnerable out in the open and tries to drag the meal into cover. The alarm calls of the baboons suggest that Manyari is nearby. Manyari takes the opportunity to feed first. Each has to fight for their share of the action. Every moment she shares with these affectionate juveniles is borrowed time. They pick up Manyari's scent from one of her hunting forays. Manyari is aware the brothers are on her trail. Somehow Manyari needs to buy these young lions more time. As they twist and turn, she must keep her focus on her target. These sub-adults seem to accept that their mentor can no longer help them because the two princes will always covet the females. This is not the time to linger over lengthy farewells. Once again, she risks her life. If she can just distract the males for long enough, thanks to the courage of two unusual lionesses, they have a fair chance of making as if their flight into the wilderness never happened. And become a part of nature again is preserved here in its most primitive form. Herds of news are commonly found in the Serengeti. Namanga prepares to hunt. Now, the offspring come out to feast alongside their mothers. Lions divide the food evenly with everyone, whether or not they participated in the hunt. Another uninvited visitor has come. It's a vagrant male lion, but there are three, and they can surely defend themselves. It is tough to walk through 50 centimeter or higher grass. Lions live within a 60 square kilometer wide territory. It certainly isn't easy to maintain the royal lineage. Male lions set up relatively precise strategies. The remaining two lions march toward their prey. And now, the psychological warfare between the lion and right at that moment, the lion hiding in the retreating path comes out and attacks. For these reasons, male lions are not skillful hunters and instead and help females when hunting large animals like buffalo by biting to hold them. Hungry lions sometimes fight over food within the family. This one tries to win the father's sympathy by giving him a pitiful look. The little one learns an important lesson. It pays to be persistent. After losing its food to the male, the female lions go out to hunt again. The new enters the lion's blind spot to avoid its claws. The smell of blood spreads through the plain while struggling with the new. Usually a female lion can handle a maximum of four hyenas. Will she spend another day without finding food? It's very dangerous to leave the offspring behind in the plain filled with leopards and jackals. After traveling a long way from home, they found food. The watok is a favorite delicacy, but it's not easy prey. After starving for many days, the exhausted lions give up hunting the boar. The grandmother Namanga found a few news, but she also loses. The male lion kills the offspring of others. 25% of the death of lion cubs is because of this reason. <laughs> 